right, guys, welcome to That's Some Scary um, I'm talking to Carlos Tenorio. You might know him better as Sombrero Man. And if you don't know Sombrero Man, then you've probably never been to a sporting event in Albuquerque. He's the guy in the big sombrero and the cape, and he's usually screaming at the top of his lungs. Uh, turns out he's a huge ghost head, and he's got some scary stories to tell. So what's this... Uh, What's this paranormal activity that you experienced at the basket shop in Old Town? You want to tell us about that? So, of course. Old Town, as you know, has played a huge role in the founding of Albuquerque, and it's been a, a huge role in New Mexico's foundation. And of course, uh, you know, you guys did the investigation there. There's a lot of paranormal activity there. Uh, Don Luis Plaza, not many people know this, but was actually the original, one of the original cemeteries in Albuquerque buried on the west side of the church. There are actually, allegedly, still bodies underneath the bread brick of Don Luis Plaza. And one particular ghost haunts the basket shop is uh, one of a female. And she is a friendly spirit, a very friendly spirit. Now, for some context, you know, my uncle, Gene, he used to work security there in Old Town for a while. But he said he was walking through the basket shop, going from the entrance to the back where the wind chimes used to be, and walked into the wind chime room and heard his name whispered. His name's Gene. And he said he swears on everything that he heard a female's voice right next to him on his right ear whisper, Gene, right into his ear. Now, we were very friendly with everyone that worked at the basket shop. So he turns around real quick, thinking it's one of the girls messing with us because they know how much we love ghosts. And he can't see anyone. So he's jumping around, you know, hitting the wind shines, probably looking very interesting to some tourists walking through. So I kind of laughed at him because I was like, OK, well, this hasn't happened to me. And so we're going through the basket shop. We enter the same room. We pass that threshold into the wind chime room. And people knew me as nephew. They didn't know me as Carlos because this was before Sombrero Man. So they just knew me as, oh, that's Gene's nephew. So in my right ear, I heard nephew whispered in my ear. Wow. Doing the same thing, turned around, thought it was one of the girls. And then I yelled at my uncle. I was like, why, why are you going to do that to me, man? What do you, what, what's that? He was like, what do you mean? What's going on? I said, I know you did that. I know you did that. That. And he's like, what are you talking about? I said, I heard someone whispered the name nephew in my ear. He was like, you realize I was on your left, right? And I was like, yeah, how do you know what ear? Because it always happens on the right. So he knew exactly what ear it was going to be. In. When you heard that voice, was it male, female? Do you remember? It was female. It was female. Uh, like it was old female. Oh, uh, Nothing too raspy of a little viejita, uh, but nothing too young of a child either. So that was did, did the hairs just stand up on end? Oh yeah, it freaked me out. Have but, you been? Have you been back there since that happened? Yes, um, I actually got my sombrero from that store. <laughs> Wait, so, you think that sombrero's haunted? <laughs> I mean, it's brought nothing but good energy to me and good fortune. Good, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I think the last thing that I witnessed paranormal was. I saw this. I was upstairs in the warpath. My uncle had the, you know, you know, the cops, how they have the, the intercoms right here. So he had the the cord and it was like uh, someone drawing back an arrow. The cord pulled back and let go. Yeah. Or, so it, you know, it didn't send you running out like that scene in so Ghostbusters at, in the, at the library when they see the ghost, right? Get her! Ah! Yep, yeah, I didn't go running. I just, it freaked me out, but you know, every time I still go in there and I'll probably will continue. Uh, all right, well, thank you so much for your time and I can't wait to talk to you again. I, I know you have some more stories and you've told me a few of them and they're absolutely terrifying, but for the first interview, I, I think that's great. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you so much for having me on and I look forward to future episodes. <laughs> <laughs>